Uh, yes. about global digital health certification network um many of the people including myself are concerned about uh those authorities trying to restrict our uh freedom of travel movement mm -hmm. and in terms of talking this uh specific topic which document or, or who is doing what <laughs> currently could you please uh sure explain? um the proposals for what you're talking about i mean i have actually here um an old school this is from the 1970s actually this is a vaccine passport and i don't know if people can see it but there's a little form in there and this is actually from annex six of the existing international health regulations and so um it's not in the framework convention. They don't really talk about this at all in the framework convention. And a lot of people get that wrong. A lot of people. In Annex 6 of the International Health Regulations, currently some nations have a requirement for a yellow fever vaccine. It's a once in a lifetime injection. That doesn't make it necessarily okay, but what has happened is the European Union primarily, but a number of nations, um, India, Indonesia, Russia, some South American nations, they've submitted a number of proposed amendments to dramatically expand that and make it digital. You mentioned the Global Digital Health Certification Network. Well, here's the interesting thing with that, okay? The core concept is already in the international health regulations all of the amendments would expand it to not just be for vaccines but they would require a testing certificate a prophylaxis certificate a um, recovery certificate traveler locator forms so they could track and trace people who are traveling and a um, passenger health declaration. They would tie it to a QR code and you know, basically be able to track and trace everybody as they're traveling. Well, one would think that if you're negotiating these changes, you would wait until it's been adopted and then you would implement such a system. Well, if you do a search for Global Digital Health Certification Network and WHO, they're already building it, mm. okay? Yeah. Europe did something very similar for COVID-19 back in um, June or July of 2021. They implemented a digital vaccine certificate for COVID-19 in Europe, and a handful of other nations you know, utilized it. Well, that actually expired in on June 30th of this year, a couple of months ago. And the WHO had a big announcement and the European Union essentially handed over the software carcass of their system. It was dead. They were done with it. They don't use it anymore. But they gave the software platform to the WHO and the WHO is proudly building mm. the thing that is supposedly being negotiated. Oh. So where do you think those negotiations are going to end up? Right? They'll have it built before they sign the agreement. And as soon as they sign the agreement, they'll go, okay, here you go. And so all of the nations will then have, you know, an interlocking um, uh system where everyone's databases will be structured in a way that with just a QR code, every nation will have your health history. And so I have a whole website dedicated to this. I've isolated it all on rejectdigitalenslavement.com, rejectdigitalenslavement.com. And so, you know, this is one of many things to be concerned about, and it's in the proposed amendments to the international health regulations, not in the proposed framework convention or, or treaty.
Mm, oh, I see. So it's a very important point. And um, thank you for bringing it up. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Because um, I remember uh, one of the health minister from I recall Indonesia was publicly speaking. The head of the country, uh, they all agreed to have this uh, vaccine. Well, the, the language that these declarations put forth, like, and I don't even know if we mentioned, um, you know, there's another thing going on. We'll talk maybe a little bit about the United Nations declaration coming up in a couple of weeks. When they make these declarations, they're usually very, very vague. And essentially what they said is, we support whatever the heck the WHO is doing. Mm. And, and part of that was this Global Digital Health Certification Network. And this meeting was in Bali in November of 2022. And the Indonesian health minister, you know, I, I took out the clip and I've, you know, if people go to reject digital enslavement, you can watch the little clip. So let's have a digital health certificate acknowledged by WHO if you have been vaccinated or tested properly, then you can move around. So for the next pandemic, instead of stopping the movement of the people 100%, which clogged the economy globally, you know, you can still provide some movement of the people. Indonesia has achieved, G20 country has agreed to have this digital certificate using WHO standard, and we will submit into the next the uh, World Health Assembly in Geneva as the revision to international health regulation. So hopefully for the next pandemic, we can still see some movement of the people, some movement of the goods and movement of the economy. He told a whole bunch of lies in a very short period of time. He said, well, you know, back in 2020, we had to lock down the world. It's like, well, no, you didn't have to. And actually, the reality of it is that it didn't really do any good. Um, but he said we had to lock down the world. And then he said, well, that hurt the economy. Well, you know, it mostly hurt small business owners, you know, mom and pop businesses, the large companies, the Amazons, you know, the UPS, um, you know, all of the government people, they got paid every day, you know, for going to work. Um, it, it hurt regular people, but it didn't hurt the big box stores and so forth. So then he said, well, in the future, if you want to travel, um, you have to either be properly vaccinated or properly tested. Well, what is a proper vaccine? The recovery certificate, people misunderstand, you know, what is being tested in these quick tests and if it's testing for antibodies, arguably, they're flawed, but arguably, testing for antibodies means that your immune system is on the job. Okay? And, and so the lies that they blatantly tell are, you know, the hypocrisy is astonishing. Um, but, you know, that's what they do. And unfortunately, most people don't have the time to you know, actually look at what is being said and done. I, I did a whole article um, on a, a statement made by the New York City Health Commissioner just about a week ago, and it was just propaganda, lie after lie after lie after lie after lie, but they say it with authority, so most people believe it. 